I live in a desert, so feeding cattle can be a problem. Luckily, there's no shortage of green mountains nearby. So in the early summer, we herd our cows to higher elevations. Ride a bow, save a cowboy, or a horse. <laughs> Throughout the summer, we try to keep the cattle together as we rotate mountain pastures. Now when I say pasture, I want to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. The following clip is the pastures we're gathering today. So what we're doing is we're starting on this ridge about right there, and we are pushing all the way around this mountain, and we have to gather all these swells through here. So that's a long ways, and we're not just going straight across, you know, we're going up and down, gathering wherever the cows are at. We have a big job ahead of us. It's fall time, and the cattle need to come home. There's about a thousand head we need to gather and herd off the mountain. So let's do this. Welcome back to another episode of Bronx and Donks. And today, we're punching cows, baby! Let's go! All right, Will, what are we doing? You going to move cows? So the cows are coming off the mountain. Where are they at right now? All over. They're all over? You look, all over. You probably see one. Look, there's one right there. We got a new intern today. Old Cody here. <laughs> <laughs> Run! About <laughs> <laughs> time we show up. <laughs> Step off. <laughs> hey, untie him so you don't fall Shut out. Shut up and untie him yourself. We'll Is old Boone gonna buck on you today? No, hopefully. Like usual, Will's gonna be the last one on the horse. Perfection is key. My horse. We stopped to make a game plan. We decided to split up and start gathering cattle. Then we would meet back up a few miles down the trail. Those two are gonna go that way. We'll see if they get any cows. <laughs> And where are we going to go this way? We're probably going to split up further up the trail. All right, we started down there on the road. We're going to come up over this and start gathering. We're going to come clear around. <laughs> Let's see if the mule does it a little better. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure we've seen a cow up here. We're gonna go look. Everybody is gathering down this way and we're gonna meet somewhere down this ridge. There's the cows down there. So I'm gonna head down there, start gathering these ones up. All right, we're a couple miles down the trail. We've got Wyatt and Brett down below us. We've got Will, Cole, and everybody else up above us. So we're all just gonna keep going this way. We'll meet up at a spring up here. Okay, we're gonna hold the cows right here for a second. It looks like everybody's making their way to us. So far, we've gathered this side of the mountain and we found about 50 cows. Dude! Welcome back to the ultimate cowboy showdown. Today, we're gonna see who can heal more in the next 30 seconds. On your marks. <laughs> Get set. Go! We're starting a timer right now. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, why it's got two feet. <laughs> what is going on? Right here. Okay, okay. 
Oh, he got two! Oh, I oh you, you slipped two. one! You no, slipped I, one! I pulled up on two! <laughs> I know where the I don't know though. I think I might take a couple points away with uh, old Boone running away like that. We'll leave this one out of draw. I split off from the main herd and started gathering more cattle. We just keep picking up cows as we go. Just tell everybody what to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This pond was our next meetup, and it's roughly halfway through our ride. By now, we have about 200 head gathered. Dude, we got, actually have a bunch of cows. We do, don't we? Look at that. Oh, you haven't even seen a bunch. There's a bunch that's already went off. For the next few miles, I'll ride high with Wyatt and Cole, a few cowboys will gather the lower flats, and the main herd will walk along the main trail. We'll meet somewhere about right here, and gather this flat after that. So you can see the main herd going down through there. I'm up in this bowl with coal, and there's just a ton of cows scattered through here. Hey, hey. We're going to send them through the upper gate. The main herd's gone through the lower gate and they're already quite a ways in front of us, so we got to catch up. All right, we've gathered all the cows off the top. The main herd is right down here and then we got a couple cowboys riding out clear to the point to go gather down low. We're gonna make our way up this way and I'll meet up up here. After meeting up with the main herd, it was time to gather the last flat. This flat is pretty dang big and our horses are tired. We're heading way yonder. Let's sing them a little song. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little man who loves berries and cream. <laughs> We've gone a long ways today. We started clear on the other side of this mountain where you can't even see. Now we're going clear out to this point. We've gone a long ways. Yeah, we're on top of the world up here. Dude, all I know is cold. Oh my gosh. Dang, dude, that's dope. Better not slap my mule's butt right here. <laughs> Dang. We got the beef heading in the right direction. Yeah! All right, we finally made it to the road. It won't be too much longer now. I'm guessing we have about 300 cows gathered today. The intern over there looks like he has a horn hanging off the back of the saddle. Let's see this shed you found. Nice. Whoa, get in the dirt. That evening and the next day, the cows started trailing down the canyon towards home. All right, we got a couple cows back in the trail today. Yesterday, we were up on top of that mountain, so looks like they're slowly making their way down the canyon. We gathered about 300 out of 1,000 cows, and that's a good start considering how big the mountain is. I rode my mule 15.4 miles today. 